have all heard that meditating every day, waking up at 5 a.m. every day, and taking cold showers are meant to be helpful for our mental health. But here's the truth. I just don't fully buy it. Why? Because I've tried waking up at 5 a.m. every day when I was younger, and not only did it make me feel more tired, but it actually made me feel more unproductive, and it felt as though my ADHD symptoms actually got worse, and I didn't know how to spend the time, and it, it just was not productive for me. Even if I got eight hours of sleep, it just didn't feel good. So I wrote this off for years, until I was scrolling TikTok, as you do, and I stumbled across this video. And you know what? Recently, I have been trying to challenge my limiting beliefs of myself, saying things like, I couldn't wake up at 5 a.m. or I'm not a morning person because they're only true because I say that they're true. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, you, what you think you become, what you, th what you think you become, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. One of my favorite quotes, and I forget it every time I try to say it. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to try giving some of these classic mental health tricks a try and see how they interact with my ADHD, completely unmedicated, raw dog in life, and how that uh, works, if it feels good or not. Speaking of self-care and feeling your best, this week's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that allows you to choose a new designer scent each month for only $17. I'm traveling this week and have a bit of a hectic schedule where I'm always on the go. So it's so nice to be able to throw one of their travel size perfumes in my suitcase or purse and not worry about smelling bad because let's be real, nobody wants to be the person that smells bad. <laughs> the current scent that I have been loving is Wonderlust by Michael Kors. Oh! It lasts all day long and I love it. <laughs> With Scentbird, each month you can personally choose which fragrance you're going to receive, so there's no surprises. There are over 700 perfumes and colognes on their website, so there are a ton of options to choose from. With each fragrance, there is a 30-day supply for you to test out for a month before committing to a full-size bottle. The scents I received this month were Avant Quintessence by Avant, Belayed in Autumn by Sentier, Wonderlust by Michael Kors. They could not make those names any harder. <laughs> With your Scentbird subscription, you choose one cent every month for only $17, but you can make that a larger subscription. It'll just be more expensive. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and for saving me in my day-to-day -day life and my travel life because there is no better ego boost than being complimented for how good you smell. Oh. If you guys are interested in trying Scentbird, use my code Haley to get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. So I did a little bit more scrolling, as you do. You can never stop when you say you're gonna stop. And <laughs> these were some of the things that were said online. First off, I fing hate when creators say that blah 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 is the cure to ADHD. Shut up, shut your mouth, shut your whole mouth, your whole mouth, shut the entire thing. I hate this wording and maybe this is one of the reasons I've been so avoidant of trying hacks like these because a lot of people write them off as the cure, as this is gonna take away all of your challenges. I know that it's not, <laughs> but I'm trying to be optimistic going into this challenge. So here's to hoping that sitting down for 10 minutes every day with my eyes closed is gonna cure a disability I've had my entire life. Isn't that right, Susan? I don't know, I assume this person's name is Susan. <laughs> Okay, so after scrolling, it was decided I'm going to try waking up every day at 5 a.m. I'm going to try meditating every single day, and I'm gonna try to have a cold shower every day and see how these things make me feel. But that cannot be all. Why? Because that just sounds boring to me, and I like to do things a little weird. So here's what I did. I looked online to try to find the weirdest hack for your mental health and try that. <laughs> So I was looking online at some preposterous ideas and some of them were interesting, but one of the weirdest ones I saw that felt achievable was standing on one foot every day for five minutes. It sounds dumb to me, which is why I wanna try it. <laughs> Okay, it is 4.23. I was up at 4 a.m. I have like the excitement of a flight ahead of me, so I feel nauseous. <laughs> I feel relatively fine, like 
Once the alarm went off, it wasn't even an option for me to like hit snooze because I immediately was anxious about flying. If 4 a.m. is this easy, 5 a.m. must be so simple. I, I think I'm gonna nap at the airport. Catch me snoozing. <laughs> Here 30 minutes before any train is even running. That's 30 minutes that I could have slept. So it doesn't feel great. <laughs> My anxiety though is happy it's in control. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't mention this, but I am flying to go to Spokane for a work trip. And look who I met at the airport. So random. Anyways, so I arrived. So I'm at my shoot. I'm not tired yet. I, I think the chai tea latte I had this morning was caffeinated. It usually is. So I've got a little bit of caffeine in my system. I'm excited to be with a friend that I haven't seen in a year. Uh, there's adrenaline in me. So I feel like I'm not gonna be tired today, which is great. Tomorrow, however, that is a different, different case. <laughs> we are filming currently for Stim Um It's about four o'clock. I have only eaten a tiny bit today. So we're gonna have some nachos now, and then we're gonna go out for dinner later. And we are going to see if my energy levels continue, which I think they are. So all of the other things though, I'm gonna have to do later or convince my friends to do them with me. We shall see. I was doing so well all day until I laid in this bed. I've been telling myself that I need to do the other things on my list of things to try before getting in bed. I've been in this bed for like 45 minutes now. Oh, it's so soft. Okay. Oh, okay. It's freezing in here. I'd really love like a tea for bedtime and a sweet treat for getting through a travel day. It will help me feel motivated to do the things on my list. And I think a reward system is fine every now and then. Thank you, bye. Let's talk meditation. I have heard many times that meditation can be done in a plethora of ways. When we think of meditation, we often think of sitting completely still and meditating. And I know that doesn't work for me because my brain moves so fast. I'm very, um, hyperactive and so it just doesn't work for me. I don't want to say that it just definitively doesn't work for me to just sit in one spot but from my experience it's really hard for me to do and so I've had the suggestion like do a meditative walk or do a meditative cleaning like there's not just one way to do meditation and so I want to trial this week the different types of meditation. I'm gonna eat this, drink this, watch my Alexander the Great show and then I'm gonna meditate, sitting still, probably to a guided meditation of sorts. That's the game plan. You with me or you not? I, I hope you're with me. I hate it. I hate, I hate it. I have to do it differently. <laughs> so with the next thing being stand on one foot for five minutes, I feel like I'm gonna get bored. Hate to say it, my attention span's not that long. So I started a new docu-series and I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna do 230 on both legs. Ow, why did my calf hurt? I did it. My calves hurt. Oh my God. It's not great for me. <laughs> okay, things that I realized. One, that was harder than I expected. Two, I have the attention span of a squirrel. I felt like there was no way I would have done that without watching something. Maybe I'll try that. It feels like cheating to be doing that while watching something. Okay, tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> It is currently, it's currently 6.34 in the morning and I am tired. <laughs> I did have my alarm set for six and I like woke up at six because I had that leftover hour. Woke up at four yesterday. The math checks out. I've just been laying in bed for the last 30 minutes and just like had no motivation to get up and start filming. But here we are. The thing is, is that because I'm traveling, I don't really know what to do with the time. 
Okay, hear me out. That last video update I did was about an hour ago. I have been lying in bed and I edited an entire like video and then posted it on all my platforms. So that was like really productive and nice and I wouldn't have had the time to do that had I not woken up at 6 a.m. At this point, I did my daily cold shower and then I went down and got breakfast. And you might be wondering why I look so cranky and that is because the cold shower sucked. I didn't like it, it made me feel cold and I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> But I saw this robot, that was cool. So at breakfast, I did a tiny bit of research via Google on how to meditate if you have like a hyperactive brain. And everything I read said like, do active meditation. So today I'm gonna try that type of meditation. So did that meditating feel better than yesterday's? Yeah, it did. But I think it only felt good because I was doing movement. My brain wasn't necessarily focused on anything in particular. I was just kind of like, this movement feels good. Oh, maybe I do this one next. I'm not really sure what the purpose of my, what, what should my brain be doing while meditating? What is my brain supposed to do? Because everything online was just like, do movement at the same time. And I'm like, oh, okay. But what does this do? Cause she can't be left unsupervised. So I'm gonna do some research today so that tomorrow it goes better. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I may or may not be filming for it right now. <laughs> One of the things I need to do and I didn't have time for this morning is, is standing on one foot. <laughs> okay, look at her go. Right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll put it in your calendar for Oh, I've got 10 seconds left on my foot. <laughs> you just make it within PayPal? Yeah, it's super, super easy. It's the end of the day. Waking up at six today was fine. I do feel tired, but now I feel relaxed and like ready to go to bed. Tomorrow, I have a work call at 8 a.m. and then a video shoot at 9.30 a.m. And I feel like the adrenaline of those two things are gonna get me going. Tiredness wise, I feel good. I feel like I got more done today. So that's nice. Um, so tomorrow I am waking up at 5 a.m. Good morning. <laughs> It is like 5.20 right now. I actually woke up five minutes before my alarm went off. And so I got a full eight hours of sleep by waking up at five. Yeah, I feel fully awake, but I also feel it's so cold in here. I just want to be in bed and like not doing anything, you know? I am going to now go do my cold shower, even though I so desperately do not want to do that. But I feel like it will help to jolt my nervous system awake. The thing with the cold showers is that obviously they are meant to be done first thing in the morning. It's miserable to get out of bed and choose to take a cold shower. That sucks. That is not a good feeling. I do, however, prior to trying this, wash my face with cold water every morning and that feels like it has the same effect, but I don't feel miserable doing it because my body's warm. I, I don't know. On day three of standing on one foot, I decided to get a little creative and move around and look out the window, which was a nice change. I am really, that was the, okay, wait, what? <laughs> that was surprisingly good. Like I actually really enjoyed that today. The difference between the first time I did it to this time, even though it's only been three times that I've done it, it doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> that might've been because I had a full travel day and so my legs were really tight, but like it doesn't hurt now, which is nice. And I found myself able to just kind of wander off into thoughts and like be present and looking outside and it like felt really nice. Is it feels like it's teaching me just self-discipline for the purposes of self-discipline. So I'm liking this one. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what's happening. I then went about my day, had a full shoot day and planned to meditate later once I was home in the evening. It snowed and yeah. So very quick update. I have not filmed that much today. It's been a little hectic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, however, I have had so much energy and definitely more energy than everybody else that I was here with. I know that because our dinner plans got canceled and it seemed like I was probably the only one that still had energy to do dinner. I don't begrudge those people. If you need time by yourself, baby, you take that time by yourself. I brought myself down to dinner tonight. Cue the TikTok that I posted about it. I'm in a great mood today. I actually feel quite emotionally regulated today. I don't know, but part of me feels like it was the foot thing. 
part of me feels like the combination of waking up early and then standing on one foot actually did something. I don't know, but I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great mood. Hello and welcome to this guided meditation. Ah, oh, that was so different than when I had done the meditations and like thought that I could just do it by myself. The guided meditations are nice because it gives my brain something to do while my eyes are closed. And I think I'm realizing more and more that really meditation is not the absence of thoughts. It's maybe the like, I don't know, ability to just feel a little bit more relaxed, the ability to like connect with your mind, even if that mind is a little chaotic. So out of all the sessions so far, I tried it in ways that were not great at first, but this has been the best one so far, which means the next one I wanna try is a version where I am moving my body as well. Again, for me being hyperactive, feels like I need to move my body. So that's gonna be the next step. I'm up. I'm awake. I'm not gonna lie. It is harder to get up today for some reason than the other days. Oh, I have a flight today. I have to leave here at 9.30. I don't work today. I don't really have any work things to do. And so I'm trying to think of like, how do I spend this time? Because I have so much time. I think I'm gonna read and just try to get into like calm, relaxed energy. And then I'll go down, grab some breakfast, have their shitty coffee and tea. <laughs> Touch my toe. Whoa! The answer is yes, I can. I'm done. So pleasantly surprised by the one-footed thing. It's so weird, but it feels like I am forcing my brain to like ground and like calibrate. Because sometimes when I get up in the morning, I feel very like, okay, I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do this. And I get like really focused and kind of intense. And my mornings can feel a little bit like rushed, but taking five minutes to just stand on one foot, look out at a view, I feel so calm. I don't know why this is working. If you had told me on Monday, Haley, you're gonna stand on one foot every day for five minutes and it's going to make you feel better. Nope, mm -mm, not true. I then had a full travel day. At this point, I had given up on the cold showers, but I did find time while I was in the airport after doing a meeting with my assistant to meditate and that felt great. And then I was home. Oh, you thought that the intro version of Haley hadn't tried these hacks yet, right? That's because I lied. <laughs> I had already tried all of these hacks, and so I wanted to give uh, an overview of how these things work for me. I'd like to put these in a bit of a tier list, shall we? Meditation, for me, has always been something I struggled with in the average sense. And I've been told many times, meditation can look different. You can go for a walk, you can do this, you can do that. I think the standing on one foot is a form of meditation that actually works for my brain. <laughs> because what standing on one foot did was it forced me to like align my body and my mind where I was having to focus on this challenge. It was gamified and fun. And I made it harder by trying to touch my toes and stuff. And I was so focused on the task of staying standing up that I felt calmer afterwards, felt more grounded, felt more centered within myself and I enjoyed it. He Hello? Who predicted that? Not me, not me. <laughs> the cold shower, like I said many times in this video, just didn't feel great. To be honest, it's so unpleasant to do that it didn't feel like it was worth the benefits it gave me. But I do think that just washing your face with cold water every day has the same effect, but it's a lot less unpleasant. In terms of waking up at 5 a.m. every day, it just feels unnecessary a lot of the time for me. And the truth was that, did I notice a significant change in how my day looked? Not really until the evening when I felt exhausted and really tired. And while I was traveling, this was fine because I would get back to my hotel and then just lie in bed and fall asleep early and that's okay. But bringing it back home and trying to do it here, it doesn't feel realistic because if I'm taking away my whole evening because I'm exhausted and want to go to sleep, I miss out on hanging out with friends, doing social activities or going to workout classes and things. And so for my lifestyle, waking up at 5 a.m just doesn't suit it and that's okay. So in terms of my tier list, I think I would do cold shower at the very bottom because I hated doing it every time I did it. 
and I got very minimal out of it. I would then put regular average meditation above it. I then put waking up at 5 a.m. because I was actually productive with that time. And so it was good, but way above at the tippy top, one foot standing. Who, why, how is this a thing? <laughs> Somehow the tool, the mental health hack that worked the best was standing on one foot. I, I don't know, dude, I don't know. So my challenge for you is over the next week, can you try standing on one foot, two, two minutes, 30 seconds on each leg? It's not that long. You could do anything for five minutes, couldn't you? Well, not everybody can. Some people are a little quicker. <laughs> Thank you again, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. Again, if you want to use my code Haley or the link in my description, you can get 55% off your first month subscription. Otherwise, that is everything for me today. Thank you for joining and watching me try these hacks and seeing me fail miserably with some and somehow do very well with others. We're talking standing on one foot. Who knew? Who knew? Not me. I didn't know. <laughs> As always, I am so proud of you for putting the work into yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. And so it's pretty cool that you're doing it for yourself. Love you so much. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.